32 to 9. Baker Mayfield threw for 337 and three touchdowns, bro. That defense is Swiss cheese, bro. It's like it's um it's like so embarrassing to watch. Like it's like the Eagles came out and was like, we're gonna lose, bro. Like they just knew they was gonna yeah. lose the game, which is crazy to think. What I'm gonna say is it's gonna be people this entire offseason who are gonna take how this season wrapped up to trash Jalen Hurts. Does he deserve some of the blame? And eh, maybe he's playing hurt. You know, you can't absolve him from everything. What I will say is y'all can go on YouTube and y'all find cut-ups and clips of people talking about the Eagles against pressure. There were so many times across this last little, not even, don't even just look at their one and six stretch to end the season. You can go back to when they was winning games. They was 10 and one and they scraping by against bad teams. They beat Patriots by five. They beat the commanders by like three. Like they are barely beating bad teams. They have no answer for anything greater than a five-man rush. It has to be just not a priority for them because you can't turn on the film like this and think that this is how you want to play this play. It just And again, I get it. The ball gets tipped, whatever. But it's not sound football. You don't want your quarterback getting hit in the back ever. I, know, I feel like I talk a lot about running back protection, but it is really important specifically on third down. It looks like he's confused. That's the truth of it for me. Because it looks like he's looking over here, and then he's late over here, and that causes us to feel color and panic. So again, if the center, if the line is going to these three, so those three right there, these three, the back's duel is one to two, whoever's off the edge, to two, scan. So you've got to get up here and you've got to blunt this cat. Like th it has to be solid. You got to feel protected. You're protecting the franchise. You can't be look to the right. Oh shit, look to the left. Like this just watch his head. He's looking to the right. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you can't be back there. That's the most important protector in the whole thing on third down. Just nowhere near good enough. Cover 0 is the greatest kryptonite to this Eagles team this season. Which is insane because it's been the same way the whole year. You would think at some point as an offensive coordinator or as Nick Sirianni being the also, you know, you're implementing your offense this year. At some point, y'all would see that and address it. There's too many times, even in last night's games, where they're throwing six or seven man pressures. And it's like, bro, 15 yard routes going down the field. Hurts can't even – there's nobody for him to throw to. You you cannot put all the blame on him. And you can't even put it on the O-line because there's only five of them. You either have to address it by keeping more people into block or we have to have hot reads. Dude's got to know I have off man. If this guy goes, I got to turn and look now. At hat, like You have to give Jalen Hurts an out or else he's about to just run for his life, mm -hmm. which is part of how he ended up getting hurt. So, look, what hurts more than anything is the fact that Jason Kelsey just went outside because he's, yeah, that's tough. in my opinion, the greatest center to ever play the game, at least of, of our lifetime. I've gotten to watch the way that he was able to be as dynamic of an athlete as he was being undersized and just a cornerstone for the position for a decade. But this is this is insanity, bro. To get routed by the, the Bucks. After all the jokes we made about the NFC South all year, that's insanity. So the NFC East, between what the, the Cowboys and the Eagles just put out in the playoffs, y'all the real laughing stock at, at the NFL this year. 100%, bro. Oh, Eagles, you just honestly need an overhaul with the OC and DC and maybe head coach. Maybe. that's know. You know how bad you got to look for your coach to be on a hot seat after going to the Super Bowl a year prior? That's why I said maybe because that's the only reason why you, I can see them being like, look, one down year, we still won, what, 11 games? Like, get a different OC in there, get a different – like, like I, he, he should be going into next season on the hot seat. I can see, like, he can keep the job if they get a like, different OC in there. But it, trust me, if they lose, if they go, what, a two and six to start the season, he's gone. He's out of there easily.
So it's either get rid of him now because of like if you can get a Vrabel, if you hey, if you can get a Belichick, if you can get one of those guys, then yeah, I just get him going. But if you're like, listen, our options, the, say they already get hired, our options aren't that great. We'll keep them, and if it goes bad, we'll just fire him. And then I can see them doing that as well. But they definitely need a new OC because the their playbook is QB draw, inside zone screens, goal slants. That's and all and they a touch got, push bro. and a touch push. Yeah, that's gonna get banned probably this off season. So. And it got stopped last night. It, yo, that's when I knew. I mean, I knew it was over before then, but we, yo, when it gets stopped, y'all are so cooked, bro. It's over. The one thing y'all have. That's the – bro, honestly, if you told me – if I asked you, what's the, what do the Eagles do great? Not good, not solid. Like, what is the one thing they do great? It'd be nothing but a touch push. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing they did great all year. And you stopped it, it's over, bro. So, you a new offensive mind in there. Scheme up something that's like – Makes it easier for Jalen Hurts. He like gets let's the don't do rely so much on just like your outside guys winning the O line just being better. Like just scheme something up to where the offense doesn't look so bland and dull, and and you definitely will have a better result. So that and then sure up the defense. That defense was Swiss cheese all year. It's funny because this is almost like the opposite of the conversation we were having earlier about how. You can have an elite coach and an elite system and put a non-elite quarterback there and they can like overperform their talent. Right, right. This is sure. like the flip flop. Right. Like yeah. Jalen Hurts has the dual threat ability. We saw him last year have spurts play of making. like uh, playmaking, bro, elite arm talent, elite accuracy, the anticipation throws. He, bro, legitimately outplayed Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. aside from fumbling the ball that one play. For, for him to go from how he played like that to what he looked like this year to what this offense looked like this year, that's like you have an elite player and like subpar coaching that you just it, you're dropping his level of play off of it. Mm-hmm. It's insane. I don't un- like. I'll never fully understand how you can be so far off as a coach to mess up like some of the elite talent that you're like, you're, you're being gifted. You're walking into that. Wow, bro. That's Arthur Smith. I don't know. He's just, he's just, some, some people just have that knack, bro. That's a talent to actively be bad with elite players. 